everyone, my name is Elizabeth, I'm a marine biologist. And today I'm going to show you how a single species of worm can form gorgeous, incredible reefs that support hundreds to thousands of different sea creatures. I am so unbelievably excited to be back here to show you this absolutely incredible animal, which I took for granted when I was like back here during my undergraduate. I just thought something this cool was on every beach, but genuinely I think I've only seen this incredible ecosystem kind of here at Bracelet Bay. It is thriving and it is fantastic. Or at least I hope it's thriving. I'm just, that is in context of me seeing so much of it today and being very, very excited. This is a Sabalaria reef. Now, it sounds really cool. It sounds really mysterious. It is a worm. Now I know you're thinking, a worm, ah, oh, you big this up so much. No, this is incredible. So Sabalaria is a worm that is a reef building creature and anything that builds reefs is not only awesome but incredibly important. So what, I, what a sublary worm will do is form a kind of sandy shell around itself like a tube and lots of sublaria worms will live together and they'll start to build and build and build just like coral these big reef ecosystems and I'm having to be careful where I walk today because there's bits of rock and then growing out of that rock are these big giant almost honeycomb like clumps of these worms. Now anything that's an ecosystem engineer is what it's called, anything that builds its own kind of habitat, home, builds these big structures by itself is called this ecosystem engineer. And the reason that ecosystem engineers are so incredibly important is that it's not only providing a home for the worm itself, but a home for probably tens to hundreds of other creatures as well. It's changing the environment around it. In between all the little tubes of sand and these big structures that it's creating, there are things living on it, bits of seaweed, bits of sea lettuce, um, bits of lava. So if anyone in, in um, Wales likes some lava bread, there's some porphyra growing on that, which is lava, which is the seaweed that lava bread is made from. A proper Welsh delicacy, if you're over here, give it a whirl. I'm not gonna say if you'll like it or not, give it a whirl. <laughs> um, but it's also changing the kind of the dynamics around it. It's providing kind of caves and coves and bits of shelter for animals and places animals can hide. It's such an incredible environment. And I don't think it itself is legally protected, as in if there's a bit of sable area somewhere, it isn't immediately protected by law, but it is really used as an indicator to help convince, show, share, provide the importance of an ecosystem, provide the importance of protecting an area. So if Sabalera is involved, then people that are looking at policy and protecting our seas are immediately going to see this and see the benefit of having it here and why it needs to be protected. And I just love it so much because inverts are amazing and awesome. Things like a backbone, wiggly worms are the best. And I'm so glad that this is here as an example of just how important a single animal and something that maybe someone would have gone, oh, just a worm, but how important and incredible that is and the knock on effect that, that can have for the whole of the rocky shore and for the whole of this coastline. Yes, go Sabalaria, high five. I'm not actually gonna touch it because I'll leave it alone, high five. <laughs>